nosy and go to all these meetings and get to ask people questions that you wouldn't ask just as a normal person. So anyway, I also learned from him as a, as a journalism student. And so I made a little list of what some of the things that I learned. But I wanted to ask first, how many of you have ideas for a book that you'd like to write? Just raise your hands. <laughs> oh, great, great. How many of you have actually started? Very, very good. Okay. So some of these some of these tips I have might give you maybe a little inspiration, a little motivation. So the first thing I, I think I learned about writing from my dad was to pay attention. Dad often compared writers to uh, bag ladies or to homeless people who go um, down the street with a, with a shopping cart. You might not notice that much here in Cortez, but say in Santa Fe or in Albuquerque, we notice that a lot. And the reason he said that was that as you're, if you're a writer, you need to pay attention to a lot of details because you'll be, if you're, say you're writing fiction, you're building characters, and say somebody pushes her hair back a certain way, you think, well, that's interesting. I never saw anybody do that, and it just stays in your brain. Maybe you even make little notes of it. Or say this morning we were we were at Denny's and we we had breakfast there, and there were, I bet, twenty people all waiting outside. And so we're thinking, gee, we'll never get in. But we walked in just to find out how long the wait was, and we got a table right away. So I, I was thinking, now, who are those people? Why are they all waiting there so patiently? So just observing something like that and thinking, oh, maybe, you know, maybe it's a family reunion. Maybe somebody's getting married. Maybe there's a, maybe they're on a tour. Just little things like that. Maybe you're, you hear somebody um, use it, it have an interesting use of phrase like somebody I was in I was talking to somebody and they said that gal was kneel down drunk 